Howdy, howdy, howdy. How the heck are you? Well, I've got some more stuff to show y'all. And this is, um, I'd say 99% of it is metal this time. Uh, starting off here, these some recent, uh, these first two CDs actually picked up in Columbus at Magnolia Thunder Pussy. Uh, a recent, um, it was right after the record show the same day. Uh, we all had stopped. Some of us had stopped there and got some stuff. This is all I picked up. Uh, Nun Slaughter. This is a double CD. And it's called Angelic Dread. This is from Hell's Headbangers. I was excited to see it because I have uh, been... I have a wish list on Hell's Headbangers and I've been ordering stuff from them. I showed some vinyl in a previous video. I really like a lot of their artists. And this is another one. This is Satanic Blood Spraying. And I uh, seen that Canyon showed this one. And I think he had, had it on vinyl, if I'm not mistaken. And if they'd had these on vinyl, I would have bought them in that format for sure. But uh, you take what you can get, you know. It has some really cool artwork on it. Uh, and I listened to, to both of these, and they're exactly what I thought they'd be. I really liked them a lot. I'd like to pick up some more stuff from Hell's Headbangers. And then I'd pick this one up. Not from, uh, this was at Everybody's Records in Cincinnati. I'm get your Ablaze in the Northern Sky by Dark Throne. This is, a, I'm assuming, a deluxe edition because I have Transylvanian Hunger which is in a similar format. Uh, this has a, a book here in the middle. And then there's a second disc. And the second disc is um, Commentary by Fenris. But that's uh, acquired or essential black metal. And I got Mayhem's new one. I bought this at FYE at the mall. I would prefer to got some of their early material, but this is the only mayhem that they had. So, you know, let's see if I can pronounce this right. That is uh, Esoteric, no, yeah, Esoteric Warfare. That's fairly easy to pronounce. I've heard of some of them. And I bought this also at FYE, Cannibal Corpse, Eating Back to Life. I didn't have any Cannibal Corpse. Uh, I'll take that back. I have a, a couple DVD sets. I think I might have one of their CDs, but this is the early material that I wanted. Um, once again, they didn't have it on vinyl, so I had to settle for the CDs. Uh, this is um, Butchered at Birth. Uh, you know, these were like. When they first came out, I think a lot of the countries that they were released in, they had to have alternate covers. Uh, this one is Tomb of the Mutilated. But if you like death metal, these are essential to have. And moving along here, this is another one that I'd seen in magazines for years and years back in the 80s. And I have uh, one of their other ones. I've had it for a while, but this one I'd never ran across. I was excited to see Exciter, Heavy Metal Maniac. This is a Canadian band. I have their other one, Violence and Force, which I really, really like. I had it back in, back in Haiti. And um, the drummer in the band, in this band, is also the vocalist. So I can't think of too many bands like that other than I guess the Eagles and Tri uh, Triumph. I'm sure there's some more bands that those in the um, Then we got this is a used copy of Cradle of Filth, Cruelty and the Beast, which uh, Canyon said that this is probably the best, uh, if I'm not mistaken, the best Cradle of Filth album, or at least one of the best. This is one of the early ones. And I agree with Canyon, what he said about the, even the the later um, Cradle of Filth is still 
the lyrics are the lyrics are just so so intertwined with the story and, and the, um, the music to me it just uh, it encap it encapsulates the whole whole atmosphere and then this one here is dusk in her embrace I love the album cover of that one I'd love to find these on vinyl uh, I've seen them online but they're like outrageous so I don't know if it's because of when they were was released or if they just you know were so limited on vinyl to begin with or I'm not sure uh, this one is I can't pronounce this one right Nymphanamine Another good one. Yes, sir. Uh, this one has, I think, uh, Gothic Romance is on here. Maybe not. Puff and Fodder, you know. And the last one I have to show, uh, Cradle of Filth. This is, uh, pretty sure this was their last release so far, Manticore, Manticore, and Other Horrors. This one came out in 2012, so I think that's, I don't know if they've had another one after this or not. But, you know, it's like with every band, I like their classic stuff, almost every band. <clears throat> There's exceptions to that rule, of course, but usually their band's earlier stuff is the best. This I bought a while back at Half Price Books of all places. It's Bathory. It's a box set. It's uh, in memory of Corthon. This has pretty much everything. Let's, uh, let's see here. This is uh, this is the, the video. DVD. Uh, it's fairly short, but there's not a whole lot of video footage to begin with to call from. So, you know, they have to. I mean, I'm glad that they put something in there. And then this is volume three. And uh, I listened to this, and it's got a lot of what you would expect, but it's got a lot of what you would never expect. And this one is Volume 2. Because um, Corthon did a lot of uh, experimental stuff, and I'm guessing maybe it wasn't released on album form, or at least released at the time, I'm not sure. But it's a uh, actual, you know, singing, and then there's some male or some female vocals. This is volume one. These are very similar CD cases, as you can tell. But um, and it comes with this book. It's a real thick book here. And it's uh, pretty much chronological. Pretty much tells you every possible thing that you'd want to know about Corthon or a Bathory. And let me show you up there. So all the album covers and track listings. And, and then it also comes with. I mean, to even see this, I was really surprised, but then to see it in half price books, it comes with this big poster worth on there and then it has the album or the CD covers there so I was really excited to see that and uh, like I said it's a uh, it's not totally what you would expect I mean some of it is but it's really uh, it's really different and um, there's a couple of kiss covers on here which I didn't expect that either I mean there's other covers too but uh, he does, um, I think it's Deuce and Black Diamond, and they're just, they're not like black metal versions, they're, they're like actual, you know, him singing, so that's interesting. 
and I picked this up not too long ago. It's a Black Sabbath Frequently Asked Questions book. This is by Martin Popoff. Uh, I have a KISS version of this, and I guess he, he's done several uh, from different bands, so I haven't read that one yet. And then this one I've had for a while, I just haven't shown it. It's Hard Rock Cover Art from the Vinyl Age, Fades Black. This is a nice, big, thick, heavy book. This is also Martin Popoff, and he does all kinds of good stuff when it comes to music-related, metal-related. This has all the album covers and the artwork and the stories behind it. Really worth trying to find. I bought this at, um, I think it was at, uh, oh, I want to say it was Half Price Books, but I'm not positive. And then this one was at Half Price Books. It's just called Heavy Metal. From hard Rock to Extreme Metal. And it's a similar book. Uh, it's not quite album covers. I mean, it is, but... show some of this here. So it's got all the bands in here. You know, it covers pretty much everybody that you would want to read about. You know, all kinds of different metal. And, uh, you know, that's, those are the kinds of books I like because they're not, they don't exclude anyone that's uh, very important to the history of metal. And the last couple things I want to show you here also picked up recently. I'm not actually going to flip these open because they're not for TV viewing or for YouTube viewing. But there's, uh, this is the 50s Glamour 20th Century Pinups. back and I can't show you these because they're you know and then this is from the 60s and there's two more versions of this there's the 70s and the 80s which I haven't got yet but I plan on getting those so there you have it some more odds and ends stuff some good good metal reading and or listening so uh thanks for my new subscribers and thanks for the old subscribers i appreciate all y'all and we'll see you in the next video